What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. Sous vide pork chops using the Mixto Max sous vide machine. I did a one other video on this where we sous vide some chicken. I'll put that in the card somewhere up in here. So uh, I'm going to show you, this is going to be really easy. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's get busy. All right guys, simple and delicious. As you can see here, I have two pork chops here and they are about an inch thick. I have some sprigs here of fresh thyme. We're going to take some salt and pepper and we're going to salt both sides liberally with salt and pepper. Okay, so we've salt and peppered our pork chops on both sides and we got our thyme ready to go. So now it's decision time depending on what you have. You can use a Ziploc bags or you can use food saver bags. I happen to be going to use the food saver vacuum sealer, but let's go over if you're going to use a Ziploc bag. First thing you're going to want to do is put a pork chop in there. One pork chop. So you're going to be using one pork chop for each Ziploc bag. In goes the pork chop, then a couple of sprigs of thyme. Take as much air out as you can and seal it and then submerge it into your uh, sous vide machine. So you can see I've got my pork chop ready to go in here with my thyme. So we're just going to go ahead and seal it up, which is right here. And then we're going to vacuum seal. And as soon as I start seeing some liquid go up, I'm going to seal it real quick. Right when I saw the liquid start to move upwards, I went ahead and just canceled it and hit seal. And we're going to do that to both of them. All right, you see we're sealed up nice. The air's gone. All right, next step, we're just going to go over here and uh, submerge it into our water bath. So now that we've got our pork chops all sealed up into our food saver bag or our Ziploc bags, we need to get our water up to temperature. Now, before I started shooting this video, I, go, I went ahead and started heating this water up. And right now I'm at 140 degrees. I would like to be at 150, and that would produce a medium well pork chop. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some times right now. If you want a rare pork chop, your water temperature is going to need to be 130 degrees. If you want medium rare, you're gonna need to be at 140 degrees. If you want medium well, that'll be 150 degrees. A well done pork chop, you're gonna need to be at 160. Now these are all Fahrenheit, okay? You're gonna wanna cook these between one and four hours. I do not recommend that you go over the four hour mark. Even though if you were to say do it for six hours, it's not going to cook them anymore. They're going to stay at whatever temperature you set it at. But the longer that they do stay in this bath, the texture's just gonna be not good, okay? So don't go over four hours, okay? All right, let's get busy. All right, guys, we are at 150, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stick these in, making sure they are completely submerged. And uh, we're good to go. Okay, guys, we'll see you guys in about, uh, I don't know, three and a half to four hours. All right, it has been about three hour, three and a half hours. And uh, we're going to call it. So this is water still 150 degrees. So. so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to take these out and uh, we're going to take them outside and put them uh, in a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do out there. So I'm gonna just do one at a time so I don't overcrowd this plate. You want a screaming hot pan, make sure it's smoking. I've hit this with a little bit of Memphis style barbecue rub. Not gonna take long. Okay, don't take long guys, about 30 seconds. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of butter and some rosemary while we sear this other side. Once it melts, like this. Gotta be quick. You don't want to leave it in here too long, just to sear and baste. A little bit longer. 
Okay. All right. We just removed these two. All right. So we're going to let those rest a little bit. Now, this is just an, a bonus for you guys. We'll go ahead and blister up some of these tomatoes that I got left over. All right. We'll get back with you. All right. Here we go, guys. We blistered those tomatoes. And look, lastly, take what's your drippings. Pour them over those pork chops. All right. All right. Let's do this. It's uh, a little bit of a bone in there. This is bone in, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, let's eat the fat and all. Mm. It's tender, juicy. Cook perfectly, in my opinion. Let's have a blistered tomato. Mmm. That rosemary comes through with that barbecue seasoning on there. That was definitely a winner. That was the first time I ever did that, was adding that barbecue seasoning on there. Delicious. All right, guys. Sous vide pork chops with blistered tomatoes. Do it.